The Eagles and Jets suffered potentially concerning losses, that and more in today's NFL recap video. We're going to start things off at MetLife Stadium, where the Jets were not even able to score double-digit points. They scored three field goals, missed a game-winning field goal from Greg Zerline, and this is Aaron Rodgers' reaction after he failed to score a touchdown in a home game for the first time in his career. He's got this towel over his eyes, not great body language here from Aaron Rodgers, and they lost to Bo Nix, who only only had 60 passing yards. He was 12 of 25. He had negative seven passing yards at one point when he had seven completions, but yet that was still enough to get a win just because they got a touchdown and then they got a field goal and 10 points was enough to beat the Aaron Rodgers led Jets. The Minnesota Vikings are going to meet up with the Jets next week in London, but the Vikings are 4-0. Justin Jefferson, he made this insane catch. He's balling out with Sam Darnold in that defense. They started this game up 28-0. There are a couple of fluke things a muffed punt, a fumble in the Packers territory, and all of a sudden the Packers made it a close game. The Vikings won by a score of 31 to 29, but still, they were underdogs for the third straight week in this game. They go into Lambeau in a divisional rivalry matchup, and when adversity strikes, they're able to respond and get the win, so they are 4-0 right now. The Buccaneers with a very impressive bounce back win after they lost to Bo Nix last week. They're 3-0. Baker continues to ball out, and for the Eagles, there was turmoil at the end of last season, things fell apart and they lost in Tampa Bay in the playoffs. And now there's Nick Sirianni's question where his job is in question. And then Jalen Hurts as well. He's been turning the ball over quite a bit to start this year. And then it's seen the Eagles fall behind in games. So it hasn't been a great formula for winning. We'll see what's next for them. Anthony Richardson left this game with a hip injury. It shouldn't be a big injury. He should be back next week. But Joe Flacco comes in and it doesn't matter what year it is. Doesn't matter how old he is. All he does is sling it and they're going to beat the 3-0 Steelers going into this game so you can knock off the Steelers as one of the remaining undefeated teams in the league as the Vikings improve to 4-0 the Steelers they're going to fall to 3-1 still a good start for them Caleb Williams could slowly and surely be getting more comfortable it took till the end of the third quarter but he's going to connect with a DJ Moore with DJ Moore for a nice touchdown here and the Bears are going to be able to improve to 2-0 in Chicago at Soldiers Field Caleb Williams he's hyped as their record is 2 2-2 and two now with a win over the Rams. The Bengals, surely they couldn't start the season 0-4. They face a Panthers team that had a red-hot Andy Dalton last week, but the Bengals are finally going to get on the board after losing Monday night to the Commanders at home. They're 1-3, still face a steep uphill climb to come out of that deficit, but still certainly better than 0-4 where their season would be all but over. Young Wei Koo is going to hit a 58 yarder to win the game. He just has ice in his veins. This is coming when Alvin Kamara scored a go-ahead touchdown in the game the Falcons were controlling the whole time. It seems like the Saints were going to be able to sneak it out at the end, but Koo from 58 thought otherwise, so the Falcons are now going to be 2-2, two and, two, and they pick up a big division win against the Saints who have looked good to start this year. CJ Stroud and the Texans are going to get a go-ahead and game-winning touchdown with 18 seconds left. This hurts for the Jags. They're 0-4 now. And Nico Collins, he led the way with a buck 51 receiving yards. He is most one of the most underrated true alpha wide receiver ones in this league. And you can't see, say he's not because the numbers he puts up on a week-to-week -week basis are up there with some of the best in the league. Jaden Daniels and the Commanders, they go out here and they score 42 points. They win their third straight game. So to start this era with Dan Quinn as the coach and Jaden Daniels as the new franchise quarterback. Things seem great, especially on offense. Everything's clicking, and Dan Quinn, he's a good defensive mind, so he'll get that side of the ball right. The 49ers lost in Minnesota, and then they blew a two-touchdown lead to the Rams on the road last week, so it doesn't matter that they're playing the Patriots. They're still banged up as it is, but they get a nice bounce-back win here. Debo Samuel and Trent Williams, they were able to return today. George Kittle, he had to leave the game. Same with Fred Warner, but they were both able to play crucial roles in winning the game. The Chiefs haven't exactly been firing on all cylinders to start this year, but it says something that they're not, but they're still 4-0. Travis Kelsey, he looked better today. Patrick Mahomes, he turned it over again, but obviously they came up with the plays in the division game that mattered. When it mattered, they had it, and there is some bad news, though. They're already without Marquise Hollywood Brown for probably the season. Isaiah Pacheco's injured now. Rashi Rice, he got carted off for what was said to be a knee injury, and Andy Reid said 
that there's no updates but it's not good so Rashi Rice could be lost to an extended period of time maybe the whole season so with the trade deadline approaching in a little over a month the Chiefs seem like a team that has to make a move because you're already down Hollywood Brown you're down Rashi Rice for some amount of time if not the whole season Isaiah Pacheco he might be out the whole season if not a lengthy time as well so it seems like you have to do something because Travis Kelsey he had a better game today but you also don't want to rely on Xavier Worthy a rookie as your wide receiver one going for a three-peat let me know your thoughts